hi guys welcome back to the channel the girl efe efe aka ayaoba if i welcome to lifestyle of ayaoba efe if you're coming across my video on my face for the very first time please do well to subscribe give the video a thumbs up drop a comment and all those good stuff okay <laughs> see i did not plan to vlog um i know i've been saying that oh i'm i'm this year i'm not taking a break you guys i need that break i need it because my head is all over the place planning or preparing for a wedding is not a joke at all it is not a joke so i just needed a good head space and whatever it was or whatever it is but <laughs> for you guys in my preview why does my face look so fat whatever in my <laughs> i can't stop smiling in my previous vlog i mentioned that i was home for a couple of days this was about this should be this should be going to a month now see if i show you my email you guys if i if i should show you my email hmm. i don't know i'm just because i'm so overwhelmed you guys tell me why i'm in my room today tell me why i'm in my room today and <laughs> don't want me in the room today and dhl is calling me first of all i do not get any email that anything is being shipped to me all right Hmm. I hope somebody not playing prank on me because it has happened before. So why this guy come and like, hi, yeah, he's calling, he's calling me from DHL, and that he has a package for me, and he's telling me that he's at my junction, whatever, whatever, whatever. I know that is a very risky thing to do, but I'm just like, fuck it, man. See, as a child of God, if you don't have the kind of confidence that will make somebody to look at you and say, you get mine though, then you are not even a child of god i have an idea of the brand i have an idea of the brand because i'm thinking is the one deborah sent me a link that i just filled the form very reluctantly i'm thinking is that one because they made the form look like you are already good to go like it was so detailed that i'm thinking ah, at this point i'm just blabbing although i'm just being all over the place claims to be at my junction so any moment from now it should be at the gates i'm trying to see if i can hear any bike lines or van or something i'm going to keep you guys updated this is about to get interesting i already called deborah i already called deborah and i'm like and i know that if i call deborah I, her excitement will make my own excitement more exciting and and then at the end of the day what if is not even what's gonna happen because that's the only thing that i put i did not just want to ask where is this from i don't even know what's wrong with me i don't know i can hear the bike approaching the person is here and if this video cut just now my phone rang but let me continue guys can this person reach already and call me when he was done talking he was like just arrange small thing for your boy i was on my own nobody should come and make me extremely happy for nothing it's not going to be funny nobody should do that honestly i will not just i won't even react here because if anybody is pranking me, obviously the person just wants to get a rea reaction from me. And me these days, I now have to control myself. Not even these days. It's been long. You don't tell me I don't learn how to control myself. Like, I'm not even saying anything. I'm not saying anything. If you disturb my phone too much to tell me, you, to say you want to tell me that it's a prank, I don't put my phone on airplane mode and I'll sleep. Because the weather is cold already. And I can easily just sleep. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I'm not bad fucking call me. Like, my junction is not fun now. <laughs> I don't know if I should call Deborah now because I really need to tell somebody what is happening. I'm just going to give it, <coughs> I'm just going to give it extra five ten minutes. If the person doesn't call me back, I'll just call Deborah. The next clip you should see is me collecting my supposed packet from the nigga, or is me ranting later in the night that yo, someone is joking with me. Till then. 
you guys jesus the way god has been showing me things in my dream these days is so scary because i i oh my god i'm just sitting here and i remember that i had a dream you guys last night i had a dream i was giving four different packages the package was so fine remember the package being red or pink something like that i was just on my bed here unboxing the package i remember my mother walked in and asked me what is that it is so good my first skincare pr package god it's so good i saw it in my dream last night see it's mostly bad things i see in my dream when they when they're about to happen today i was just like if you your good i'm watching tv and i just immediately reduce the volume i'm like god that package was so fine if it's something that that's that is going to make me happy, go let this dream come to pass. If it's something that is if it's something negative, it's not come to pass in Jesus' name. I prayed, you guys. I just remember I like, saw so it in my dream. The guy has not called me again. I've not called him. I just checked to confirm if it was really DHL and it's really DHL. And then I can remember what I dreamt. And I'm just here to say God is amazing. Yesterday I had before I stepped and had that dream. Yesterday I had a midnight prayer session yesterday was one of the best days of my life because i could feel the spirit of the holy ghost moving in this room i don't joke with this my room like things happen here things happen here hey i've done a, a whole ass video for just narrating how god has been so good to me i see i said a lot in that video but i don't know what happened i just i edited it like seven minutes and i just deleted the whole clip i forgot i can't really remember if it was space or maybe i felt like i was giving out too much information maybe i would have said what i had to say without going into details you guys i hate giving so much information or details about something that has to do with my personal life it makes me feel i don't know i don't know and when i was praying yesterday i'm like look at all these good good things what did for you and you will not come and say it publicly i'm going to redo that video at this point i'm talking too much because should just come already the guy said it was at my junction for crying out loud but you guys god is good i saw it in my dream that's the crazy part like, if you do not know god i'm missing and i'm not saying this to spite anybody once you have jesus in your life that is where the whole enjoyment is that learning to whine you even if they whine you no panic oh god he just calls me that he's at the gates my god this is unbelievable it came all the way from korea do you know the crazy thing i sent this particular brand god i see my head is i sent this particular brand i sent them an email telling them i wanted to work with them but they are one of the few brands that did not reach out to me which i don't know if it's fine but this is another company that is working with that is partnering with anua i don't even know it's just a lot but like this is a product that i recently got the dark nice cinema dark dark see you guys you saw it in my previous vlog but what i'm trying to say is that this thing was getting fair. I'm like, ah, so if this is finished, I will not bring out 26,000 and buy another one because the price is increasing every day. I will not bring out like 25, 26,000 and buy another one. God said, if he, calm, why are you rush? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I would have unboxed it, but I think in the video, um, one of the criteria was that when I'm filming the video, I have to unbox in their front. Uh, I'm, I'm still talking rubbish. Like, I have to unbox it in the video. <sighs> you guys, I'm so happy. You have no idea. And you see my skin glowing. It's annual. And I'm not doing adverts because they gave me product though. It has been working really nice. I was spotting a little bit here. But if you check, it, it's clearing. Maybe it's, 
it's clearing like it was so terrible yesterday but it's calm now yo yo maybe i'm just going to end it by when i unbox i'll just come and show you guys and that will be it but thank you guys so much oh my god i'm so happy hi babies <laughs> i finally did an unboxing video here's the baby i was saying they didn't send me an email that was because i made a mistake in my email jesus god thank you for missing you because either they would have just cancelled my name and saying oh no email address like that blah 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 but they reached out to me on tiktok and i did not see that message up until this morning they reached out to me on tiktok saying that my email address is not correct and they sent that message since last week thursday and i got to see it just yesterday like but somehow they still sent the package out like i need to be more careful next time let me not go and block my blessing if it's the one that they don't have too long they just want to be careful you know this thread thing that they used to use and thread brows like this lady said she wanted to send me. I didn't even know how to use it. I just like it's painful. And you guys, I've, it's been so long. But the whole package got missing, Sha. I don't know. She could. She sent me the tracking number. At the point we could not track it anymore. And ah, that's time I was so young and naive. I never even showed any interest. Or else, I'm sure I would have tried my very best, even if I didn't get the package. And then I would have tried at least, but this one I did not even try because you guys don't blame me, anyways. I'm just going to end this talking. These days, I talk so much in my vlog, I don't like it because I hate editing talking videos, like, I hate it so much. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna relax. Bye.